U.S. President Joe Biden has made the first public appearance since endorsing Vice President Kamala Harris as the Democratic candidate for the upcoming presidential elections to be held in November. On July 23, the U.S. President was spotted traveling back to the White House from Delaware after he had spent several days recovering from a COVID-19 infection at his home in Rehoboth Beach. He remained out of public view for several days after contracting COVID-19. On Sunday, Biden made a surprise announcement about quitting the 2024 presidential race and endorsing his vice president Kamala Harris as the candidate from his party. Writing on his ex-social media account, Biden stated that his withdrawal of his candidacy was in the best interest of his party and the United States. Biden's decision came amid mounting skepticism in recent weeks over his mental capabilities and his ability to effectively run a presidential campaign against his rival Donald Trump. How are you feeling since you dropped out of the race, sir? How are you feeling about Harris's campaign? Can Harris beat Trump? Can Harris beat Trump, Mr. President? U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris raised $81 million in the 24 hours after President Biden announced he would not seek re-election. The Harris campaign has claimed it has received more than 888,000 contributions from grassroots donors, 60% of whom have donated for the first time during the 2024 election cycle. The historic outpouring of support for Vice President Harris represents exactly the kind of grassroots energy and enthusiasm that wins elections. Already, we are seeing a broad and diverse coalition come together to support our critical work of talking to the voters that will decide this election," said Kevin Munoz, a campaign spokesperson. Already, we are seeing a broad and diverse coalition come together to support our critical work of talking to the voters that will decide this election," Munoz added. There is a groundswell behind Kamala Harris and Donald Trump is terrified because he knows his divisive, unpopular agenda can't stand up to the vice president's record and vision for the American people. Separately, Future Forward, the largest Democratic political action committee in the U.S., told Politico magazine that it has received $150 million in new commitments from major donors in the last 24 hours. Harris has secured the support of enough Democratic delegates to become her party's nominee against Republican Donald Trump, as top Democrats rallied to her in the aftermath of President Joe Biden's decision to drop his bid for re-election. Several state delegations met to confirm their support for Harris, including Texas and her home state of California. Harris had the support of well more than the 1,976 delegates she'll need to win on a first ballot. Biden ended his re-election campaign and endorsed Harris, following weeks of calls from Democratic politicians, donors and journalists for him to leave the race due to growing concerns over his mental fitness and ability to defeat former President Donald Trump in November. Although Biden had repeatedly refused to abandon his re-election campaign, he eventually conceded, arguing that the move was, in the best interest of my party and the country. According to CNN, Harris has since been endorsed by more than 40 Democratic senators and nearly 100 House members, as well as several governors, including Gavin Newsom of California, Pritzker of Illinois, and Josh Shapiro of Pennsylvania. The Democrats will finally decide on the nominee during their convention in August. Last week, Republicans nominated Trump as their candidate for the president and Vance, a senator from Ohio, as his running mate. Trump survived an assassination attempt during a rally in Pennsylvania on July 13, the gunman's bullet grazed his right ear. The FBI have said that they have not yet identified a clear motive, 
the shooter was neutralized during the altercation.